What's up guys? It's CP here. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about taking the image and process it for creating a data set. Let's see how it works. First we have to create a file name called img underscore cap dot file and open the file into a text editor. Next we have to import the libraries as import cv2 then import numby as nb and import os. These libraries are used for processing the data. Next we have to add the image size is equal to 96. So declare a variable image size is equal to 96. After that we have to include region of interest. The region of interest is top, bottom, left, right. A window that contains an image and we have to select a particular area as top is equal to 100 and right is equal to 150 bottom is equal to 400 and the left value is 450 then we have to give an exit condition exit condition is star star we will talk about this later after that we have to include a empty string as a is equal to double quote after that we have to declare a dir0 variable and call a function input for read the value from the terminal and enter the directory name will print in the terminal window after that the value will read next we use a try and accept is an exception handling mechanism and inside the try the suspicious code will put here os.mkdir bracket dir0 is a suspicious code because when this statement run a new directory will create and if the directory name already present it will create an exception that will handle by this exception handling in the except section it will print contain folder in the same name next we have to create a camera object from the library cv2 using camera is equal to cv2 dot video capture zero here the zero is used for default web camera inside the laptop if you are using an external camera it will be one or two depending on your hardware okay now let's run the program in the terminal by typing python 3 space img underscore cap dot pi then press enter to run the program when the program run in the terminal window you can see enter the directory name then you have to give a name for the directory here I am giving data as the directory name then press enter after pressing enter you can see a data directory is created next we have to read the frames from the web camera camera dot read function is used and the function will return the frame and a status to view the frame we use im show function inside the cv2 library next add a while loop for continuously read the frames and display as a video next we have to add a exit condition inside the while loop here we are using key press is equal to cv2 dot wait key 1 and that will read the key press and if the key is 27 27 means the escape button the while loop will break outside the while loop we have to add camera dot release for releasing the camera resource and cv2 dot destroy all the windows used for close all the windows okay let's run the program when you run the program you have to give a directory name and then a window will open and it will show the output from the web camera and it will stream like a video next we have to read the directory name and create the sub directories inside the main directory for that we use dir1 is equal to dir0 plus str of a by using same try and accept method you can create the sub directories using os.mkdir bracket dir1 when running the program it will ask for a sub directory name here I am giving 
a as the subdirectory name. Inside the data directory, a subdirectory a will create it. Next, we have to declare a variable i is equal to 0. Next, we have to flip the frame for mirror image. Here we are using cv2.flip function and giving the parameter frame and 1. Now, we have to select the region of interest from the frame. It is just a square region inside the frame image. It can select as frame metric. We are selecting the position from top to bottom and right to left. Now, we have to convert our ROI image into a grayscale image. ROI image is a RGB image. It is a three dimensional array and it need more computation power for process. In a grayscale image, it is a two dimensional array. It requires less computation power. So, we are converting our ROI image into a grayscale image using cv2.cvt color bracket our ROI image dot cv2 dot color bgr to gray then we blur our image using gaussian blur from the function cv2 dot gaussian blur bracket gray comma parameters then resize the image using the function cv2 dot resize bracket gray comma the image size here the image size is 96 so we will get the image size of 96 by 96 next we have to write this image into the sub directory using cv2 dot i am right bracket the directory and the variable i the variable i is the file name and its value increment from 0 to 500 because 500 sample images are saving here for increment the value of i we use i plus a is equal to 1 means i is equal to i plus 1 after that just print the i value and if i is greater than 500 give a break statement because here we are saving 500 images next we have to draw a rectangle in the frame image using the rectangle function inside the cv2 library cv2 dot rectangle and the parameters frame left top right and bottom of the region of interest roi and 0 255 0 for the color of the image blue green and red the value 2 for thickness of the rectangle next we have to add an another window for showing the grayscale image of the roi region and that will be our output image okay now run the program and see how the program is working now you can see two windows one is the camera output the color one and a small window that is our region of interest that image will be saved in the sub directory name a and you have to move your hand in different angle and different distance total 500 images will be saved in the sub directory name a here you can see some images are containing invalid data so we have to delete those images manually here i am deleting the images from 0 to 42 now you have to add an another value for creating the sub directories a b c d up to z and take the images and save to the corresponding sub directories now we have to add an exit condition for this value if a equal to equal to exit condition then break next delete the data directory and run the whole program now give the directory name as data then first sub directory name capital a then you have to give the hand gesture of the alphabet a after capturing 500 images and saving it will ask for the second sub directory name type b and press enter and repeat this process up to set 
after completing the process we have to exit from the program for that just type star star and enter here i only capture three alphabets a b and c now for each subdirectory you have to delete the invalid data manually through this we can take the images from the web camera and process it for creating the data set thanks for watching guys see you on the next video